Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series where it's been a long time since you've heard an intro that includes a rhyme, but don't y'all worry, I'm still in my prime, because if you hear the word mama, it comes with a dime. Boys and girls, welcome back to episode 40 of the No Money Spent series. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. I finna get the Do it! Just do it! Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series, man. I know it's been a long time coming. A lot of you guys have been super patient with me and thank you very much for that. I've just been super busy like the last week and a half, I think it's been since I last uploaded the last episode. And I honestly haven't really been uploading any of my series. The No Money Spent, Beard Bakery, Wheel of My Team. Things just got super busy with doing a bunch of like squad builders and stuff for you guys. And those ones were just kind of more interesting to me at the time. And then this week alone has been super busy. Busy on top of me getting my own locker code and stuff that was super super fun but now we are back with the no money spent one reason I kind of calmed down on the no money spent was because there wasn't much more to achieve on the series but now that it's July they've actually got a new player of the month out there's something for us to now chase alongside talking about a bunch of new cards that came out we can talk about which ones are the best budget options if you're still living the budget life now if you guys want another no money spent episode as soon as possible I'm talking Tuesday I want you guys to aim for 4,000 likes on today's video but to get started on the no money spent series guys you know we've got a punch in the stack of locker codes that we've gotten in the last week man so let's get to it now when it comes to the locker codes guys throughout the week I've actually been punching a lot of them in on my no money spent and you guys will see that later on but these are some of the ones that have come out today and earlier this week as well I already punched in my own locker code on the no money spent account but if you guys have not seen what it is I will put it up on the screen for you super quick so you guys can go ahead and punch it in as well still insane the two UK really managed to give me my own locker code like you see lbj beside htb something about that just hits different now i just gotta meet like lebron james in real life but uh this first locker code we're gonna punch in is limited to 12 hours it's similar to mine it's prime 3 lbj and red city got this code so we're gonna go ahead and hit start and this one's gonna give us a free prime series 3 pack which could be a potential galaxy opal lebron james Kawhi leonard odom paul george or luka Doncic. So I've usually been skipping the ball drop animation, but this one is actually going to land on the red, which I believe is the LeBron James pack. I will take that, assuming we even pull LeBron. But even if we pull any Opal in that pack, they are all big dubs. We'll get into talking about the players in just a second. There's so many codes to punch in. All right, so this next locker code right here is from NBA 2K My Team themselves, and they were celebrating hitting 1 million followers on Twitter. So if you haven't had the chance to punch any of these in, make sure you punch them in ASAP. And let's see what this one actually has, because I have no idea what this ball drop actually looks like and it's going to be a guaranteed deluxe pack so this is super fire it guarantees you a player from any of those packs so for this one i low-key want either the duo actually the duo might be really bad I really want the Lamello pack or the Showtime pack those are the newest ones and those have the most potential fire let's see where this ends up it's working its way down. There's 10 tokens you can land on. That's actually crazy. We're going to go ahead and land on the takeover one, which honestly isn't the best one, but it is a deluxe one. If we end up pulling Galaxy Opal Giannis, we are literally set on the no money spent for life. Up next here is another limited locker code. This one's actually by DBG. He managed to get his own code as well. This one is also limited to 12 hours. So make sure you go ahead and punch it in as soon as possible. But it's going to be yet another Prime Series 3 pack. So it looks like we're going to be doing a huge Prime Series 3 pack opening for today's video, man. There's so many packs for us to open. And honestly, that's a nice little warm welcome after not uploading this series in a while. But let's see if we can go back to back with the LBJ pack right here. It's dropping in the LeBron James pack once again. That's two back-to-back -back LeBron packs every single time. It does include the most expensive players, so honestly, I am very, very, very okay with that. Now, next up, we've just got Prime LBJ. This one's supposed to just be a regular code. I don't think this one actually includes the LeBron James pack, but again, like I said before, we are getting a ton of Prime packs, and in this case, I want either the Paul George or the Kawhi Leonard pack. It's crazy how many packs we're actually getting here as a no-money-spent 
uh, player. This year has easily been the best year as a no money spent player when it comes to the cards and the locker codes because the amount of locker codes we've gotten this year on a weekly basis has just been insane. Right there, we're going to land on the Lamar Odom pack again. No matter what I get, I'm going to be happy because this is all no money spent packs. Coming up on this next locker code, this one is going to be for when they reveal that Kobe Bryant is going to be the cover of the Legend Edition. Which version of 2K are you guys actually going to be getting? Let me know down in the comment section below. I honestly wasn't the biggest fan of the card arts, but I'm honestly not mad. We can land on 81 tokens with this. Oh, they definitely must have a token update coming soon. Look at that. Then you can land on 8 on the way down. That is so many potential tokens. But again, whatever we end up landing on, honestly, isn't the worst. I don't want a player. I would much rather have tokens. But whatever we get, we end up getting. And this one's actually going to be the Amethyst Kobe Bryant, which really isn't the best one. But it's better than nothing. Still not done with the codes here, man. Next one is congrats, our NBA 2K 300K. Still haven't punched this one in as well. I'm actually not sure what this one's supposed to be. And it's looking like it's going to be another one of those packs. This one's not going to be the deluxe packs, though. So this one's not gu uh, guaranteed. But again, free packs are free packs. And then to think we've got to open all of these, it's just insane, man. Look at all the tokens you can hit on the way down. We just got nine, almost 12 tokens right there on the way down, man. It ends up landing in the blue, which is going to be the flash pack for Zion. Not the greatest one, but I mean, I'll take nothing. Again, these are all free packs. Oh, this is a super pack. So this actually is a guaranteed one, I believe. I'm not too sure, though. We're almost done with the locker codes, I promise. This is the second to last one, and this one was when they revealed that Damian Lillard was going to be the cover athlete. This one is going to land in the pink, which is going to give us a free pink diamond Damian Lillard. That was probably one of the best ones to get aside from the 21 tokens. But again, the amount of tokens we're getting, man, token market update coming very, very soon. I'm telling you guys this now. Last but not least, we've got the locker code when they revealed that Zion was going to be the cover athlete for the next gen. I think he's going to be a great athlete. Me personally, I would have went with Luka Doncic, but again, I'm not mad because the cover doesn't really matter. It comes down to how good the game's going to be. And in this case, we definitely want that pink diamond Zion. Again, more tokens that we're going to be able to hit on the way down. Cannot complain about that whatsoever. And right here, it's going to land on the blue, which is going to be a free diamond Zion Williamson. Not the worst thing, but we've already got him on the no money spent account. So this one is going to be a quick sell. Now we've got a ton of packs to open, man. So now that the locker codes are done, yeah, that was only part one. Now we've got 14 packs to open, including these players club ones, which could include a Galaxy Opal Jamal Murray or a Galaxy Opal Bobo. If we get lucky in all these packs, we might not even need to buy any new players. But we'll start off with this Dwayne Wade one. This one was from a daily login so i don't expect this to be anything crazy but we get a pink diamond this has the chance i believe i'm pretty sure this is gonna be pink diamond dwayne wade but let's go ahead and flip it they just dropped a galaxy opal dwayne wade recently and look at that oh that's from the bulls wait who is this small forward oh it's gonna be pink diamond jimmy butler a card that used to be a gem back in the day not really a card worth picking up at the time now still the fact that we actually pulled a prime player is insane next up we've got this next locker code give me a galaxy opal lamello ball and i will not be mad i don't think this one's a deluxe one so we're not guaranteed anything nice we got a ruby westbrook there not too bad on to the takeover one again this one's not a deluxe one so it's not guaranteed to be a takeover player but we'll still go slowly for the okay nope forget it forget it i saw the bronze card i was like there's no one else in there next we've got these two showtime players right here Again, none of these are deluxe ones. I do hope we get more deluxe ones since we're closer to the end of the year now. But a flip all on this one. It's going to be an Andre Iguodala who just recently got a Galaxy Opal. That card is a gem and going for a good price. We're going to have to look into them today. Next, Showtime Locker Code. Let's get these out of the way. I've got some cards to snipe for these guys this episode. This one, once again, is going to be an absolute dud. Patrick Mills, man. I don't know which one to start with here, but we're going to go with Jamal Murray. Just because for Bobo, whether you get the Amethyst or Galaxy Opal, both versions are great. This this one's gonna be a diamond uh this is not gonna be a card that makes our team but again shout out to 2k for giving us free cards nonetheless if you're just starting off in the game you'd be pretty happy with this next up we've got bobo man show me the galaxy opal glow make this episode hype uh it's gonna be the amethyst but again this amethyst bobo is actually not the worst card like i believe he still comes with like 18 hall of fame badges he can still shoot and he's still seven foot two so it's not like there's anything wrong with that there if you're just starting off in the game and you get this locker code it's a heavy dub no matter what you pull there but now it's time to get into the serious stuff here man 
none of these are deluxe except for the Giannis one so i'm hoping we get lucky we'll start off with this luca pack right here though saving the lebron james ones for last this one's looking like a dud bronze malcolm miller yikes up next is gonna be one of the lebron james packs give me lebron if you're real 2k if you're real i'm gonna see a galaxy opal glow in two seconds and not an emerald one that's a yikes i'll get this flash pack here out of the way just because i'm not expecting it to be anything special and it ends up being a pink diamond now this one is gonna be red I actually don't know who this is going to be. From the Wizards. Oh, I think this is John Wall. Yes, sir. John Wall, who is going to be coming back to the league next year. An absolute beast. One of my favorite point guards of all time prior to him getting injured. But uh, now it's down to the last three. I'll start with Odom. Then go to LeBron. Then we'll go to the Giannis pack. It's crazy that we didn't really pull any Galaxy Opals. That's going to be a double Sapphire. Ay, ay, ay. LeBron James pack. Come on. LeBron, you are the king. Show me you're the king and show up when it matters, man. Shoo. Silver silver okay not a player silver and boom oh an emerald an emerald man all right guys the last pack of the no money spent run right here is it gonna be an opal show me Giannis. show me Giannis. left oh no an amethyst i didn't even know there was amethyst in these packs this is why i wanted the showtime packs because the showtime packs have way better players this one's gonna be a buck a center is this andrew bogut or something amethyst larry sanders who although back then he was a budget dub now he's kind of a budget l would not recommend you pick him up but that's gonna do it for our pack opening so although we didn't pull a galaxy opal that's gonna make us a ton of mt we still pulled a bunch of cards that we're gonna be able to sell to make mt such as this damian lillard i doubt he's going for much because he was in a locker code and this rewards card bobo man where is he look at that 18 hall of fame or 16 hall of fame badges a minus scoring still and a minus mid-range not a bad card at 7-2 could be a great budget center to start us off but uh kobe i'm sorry i'm not gonna use you unfortunately as much as i'd love to we're gonna get rid of all these players jimmy butler another card i doubt is going for much mt larry sanders you're a big yikes and this Dwayne wade i'm not gonna need anyways because there's a new galaxy opal i'm gonna be looking into right there and everything else i'll just kind of sell afterwards but uh yeah still a decent collection of mt that we might make we're sitting at 1.4 million mt on the no money spent which by the way is just still crazy but now it's time to look into some of these new cards and it's time to get our sniper scope out because it's time to snipe one thing i forgot here is that i did sell a gordon hayward two weeks ago when i last uploaded and it sold for 72,000 mt now when i first saw this i was like who was dumb enough to bid this up to 72,000 mt and this is why i don't put my cards up for buy nows i always put them up for 500 because there's always that one person every time that ends up overbidding because they never look at the buy now price 72k right there for a gordon hayward card i'll take it and then 15,000 mt right there for our collector level so far it's looking like big dubs this episode man now as far as new cards to pick up goes there's a lot of new cards to pick up and to be honest every single card here is going for a great price except for LeBron. LeBron James. This Ping Diamond Rondo, great budget card, but I recommend getting someone taller. He does have 40 Hall of Fame badges, which is insane. This Tim Duncan, kind of useless though. I think he only has like nine Hall of Fame badges or something. Not the greatest at this point in the year, but the cards to definitely look at in this set is Igudala and Melo, and definitely Dwayne Wade because you guys know how Dwayne Wade does. But Chris Paul, as good as this card still is, still very undersized, and LeBron is going for like 1.5 million MT, just not the ideal card to pick up with MT. Now, since we we last uploaded they also did release these next packs which include some crazy cards including this galaxy opal james wiseman in which we might have to try to pick up for the squad he is going for a lot of mt but i do need a new center there's also this galaxy opal anthony edwards and whoever's going for cheaper him or the new Dwayne wade is what i'm gonna pick up because they've got the same jumper but anthony edwards is actually taller at six foot five Dwayne wade is six four then there is also this oyenka card which a lot of people i find sleep on and i don't understand why i know he's 6'9 and he's kind of got a jumper that leans forward but if you go to his tendencies guys and you go all the way to the bottom take a look at those defensive tendencies if you off ball with this card he will clamp up whoever the f he is guarding it is actually disgusting how good this card is on defense and a lot of people don't realize that because people don't look at tendencies man most people only look at stats so if you need a good lockdown power forward this is a card i heavily recommend he is so good other than that though guys there's not many crazy cards to pick up and as you can tell by our lineup we really don't need to add much to our lineup i'm gonna look for a new center 
gonna look for a new point guard off the bench for those of you that i forgot to tell i actually did get this galaxy opal paul pierce so i did finish the challenges although i don't think i'm gonna do the rest because i just don't have time for that and i think i can go 12 and 0 without those other cards like marcus all larry bird is very cool and all but i think i've got a decent lineup nonetheless even this wes unseld still continues to be an absolute dominant beast in the game and he has been out for a while but this starting lineup essentially has like what three centers in it and it's got a glenn rice and ak-47 who's still like one of the best if not the best power forward in the game right now so i'm gonna look into getting either galaxy opal dwayne wade or anthony edwards i'll check the price on that mellow chris weber might have to go just because i don't mind putting jerry lucas back there so we'll look at a couple cards if we can snipe any we'll get some if not gg so anthony edwards is at 136 with two minutes to go so he'll likely end at 170 ish if we're lucky and then let's take a look at dwayne wade see what his price tag is looking like and he's at about 150 this one's at 190 but again pretty similar prices and they both got like around the same amount of hall of fame badges for that reason though i think i'm gonna go with the anthony edwards card just because he's got the height his animations are still nasty and i think he definitely competes with that galaxy opal Dwayne Wade because again they are very similar cards i like this diamond contract right here though so we'll bid him up to about 165 kmt and we're gonna hope we get him now while we wait this four minutes we're gonna go look at other cards as well so one card i'm gonna quickly look at right here is galaxy opal andre igudala someone told me he's going for like 60 kmt and i find that insane and if you're a budget player look into getting this card man 60 kmt for 50 hall of fame badges he can now play the two unlike his old card that was stuck at power forward and small forward definitely recommend putting him at the two because his defensive stats are insane look at the attributes here as well 98 driving dunk he is super super fast plays insane defense can rebound strong as hell at 95 strength you just can't go wrong with this card so what i'm gonna try to do is pick up this igudala and then i'm gonna slide jerry lucas over to the four paul pierce to the three igudala at the two and then we're gonna sell chris weber now again when it comes to sniping guys you don't have to keep changing the numbers here all you have to do is just keep searching and eventually one is gonna pop up we're gonna hope we can get ourselves a nice snipe here in a little bit loading a bit slowly which means something has to pop up eventually 54k that's honestly 5k under i can't be mad at that that's not a crazy snipe but again we got it for the low and anthony edward we got outbid already oh we might have to go get Dwayne wade i probably got outbid because that guy had a diamond contract on him let's see what happens if we go for a regular anthony edwards please do not outbid me five four three two one i'm hoping i did not get outbid on it and we won the card plus saved 16k so people really do value diamond contracts like that but honestly keep your diamond contract i got a card for the low let's go ahead and add these bad boys to the lineup you're definitely starting actually i might have you come off the bench that way i've got two base 98 cards uh separated and i can have that firepower then move jerry lucas here move paul pierce here chris weber is gonna get sold and we got igudala here and then all we need is a center and to be honest this is low-key a 12 and 0 ready lineup like two base 98s and anthony edwards and jerry lucas coming off the bench that's insane it's crazy because we got this weber for so cheap too and he had a diamond contract and shoe on him so super unfortunate that he has to go but you cannot stay attached to cards when it comes to being a budget player man you got to do what's best for your team and now we need a galaxy opal center now i know james wiseman is obviously like the best center you can buy in the auction house but i kind of want to use someone that i know is still going to be, be usable i'm debating getting shaquille o'neal i know some people are going to roast me for that so i won't get him taco fall i low-key miss you man because when you were evoed you were actually a sharpshooter and you were big for me actually one card i do want to look into that might be going for super cheap because of the locker code is galaxy opal bull bull one just popped up for a buy now but it's not evoed i don't care about it like that because the other person i'm gonna look at is his better twin and that is galaxy opal Kristaps porzingis i know he's not a buy now but there is one that's evoed right here and i like the evoed one because it gets hall of fame clamps man it definitely becomes a lot better you can see his defense goes crazy and that's really what matters his strength doesn't go up much more but he's seven foot three there's not much to mess up there so i'm gonna look into porzingis if i can't land this card for the low maybe we'll have to get james wiseman now while i do like the galaxy opal porzingis one card i'm actually gonna look into that people will flame me about is this galaxy opal shaquille o'neal i know he's not the greatest three-point shooter or anything like that but the way this card plays defense is just so different compared to other cards in the game man his frame is ridiculous pause on that but i'm gonna see if i can snipe one if not i'll just go ahead and try to get the porzingis but otherwise i need myself a shack man if we can get ourselves a shack life will be good i don't even have to do that refreshing thing let's just keep searching here and hope we get something
Oh, 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 let's go. That was way too casual. Whoa, yo, okay, okay. What shoe is that? Usually I freak out way more when it comes to the no money spent, but that one just didn't even really phase me. I don't know how to say it, but it's almost like I saw it and I knew I was gonna get it. What shoe is that? Oh yes, it's a three point shoe. Bless the God, 73 three, 93 free throw, 99 driving, 86 ball handling. Oh, would have topped it off with a speed with ball, but instead it is pass perception, which again is not a bad thing whatsoever. And again, diamond shoe and diamond contract. And we haven't even sold Chris Weber or any of those other cards yet. We're still at well over a million MT. And this is what the squad is looking like, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put some more contracts on these guys. So I think this is definitely the best team I've assembled so far on the no money spent series. Just look at this team, man. Embiid, Karolinko, and Bill Russell starting there. Wes unselled. I'm going to look into any other point guards that I might be able to pick up, but the only questionable cards on my team here are Wes unselled, who, by the way, is very solid. He's just a pink diamond color, and I kind of want a whole Galaxy Opal look, and then Paul Pierce, but I think Paul Pierce will be able to hold his own. A lot of people hate on this card a little bit too much. I think he's a walking bucket. I'm pumped to try him out, but I want to see what else we can get as far as a Galaxy Galaxiopal point guard option. How much is Giannis going for? Because I just want someone who's going to be able to be tall enough to guard those tall point guards. That's my only issue. Ben Simmons is a great option, but he's 300k MT. We did use him to go 12 and 0 last time. He's just going for a lot of MT that I don't really want to spend right now. Who else is there? Even though we got a new LeBron, this LeBron hasn't even really moved in price. That is just how good LeBron cards are in the game. But as far as other point guards, I can't think of anyone else. There is LaMelo Ball, but again, very, very expensive card. And then there's also RJ Hampton over here, who's going for a good price. He's also a very good height, but the problem is he's only 190 pounds. He's going to get dogged by LeBron cards and stuff in the post. So I don't really want to pay for anything like that. And there's nothing nice like that when it comes to the throwback moments either. There's Pete Maravich, there's D'Angelo Russell. But again, they're all quote unquote undersized when it comes to this point in this year in my team. So I think what I'm going to do is sit with this team right here. If I feel like I need a more more natural point guard what I'm gonna do is actually put Penny Hardaway right here because this Penny Hardaway is still not a bad card he's still very usable he's still got a good amount of Hall of Fame badges as well so not the absolute worst but Anthony Edwards is most likely gonna be doing the most damage at the point guard position for me I'm pretty happy with this lineup all around I think I am gonna be ending the episode at this point just so next episode we can dive into doing our 12-0 run starting off my next episode I'm gonna try to stick in either two or three games in every episode episode just so you guys can see the whole 12 and 0 journey last time we did live stream the whole thing but i think for this last push right here we got to make it episodes just so you guys see every single highlight and enjoy every single moment of it but with that being said guys the Mo no money spent series is back i managed to sneak in a snipe i honestly was not expecting to get so we didn't even have to really look into that poor zingus our lineup is looking good starting next episode the 12 and 0 journey begins if you guys are ready aim for 4,000 likes on this video and and I got you guys with it ASAP Rocky. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the Blazion Nation, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care.